Vlogging and TikTok videos are a hit among ordinary people. And as a portable device packing powerful cameras, smartphones are becoming the most popular tool both for creation and live streaming. But even though some premium models come with OIS, the actual stabilizing effect is still not good enough. So to get good quality clips that are stable, most users would generally turn to using a gimbal for better stabilization. Instead of gripping the phone by their hands, in fact, filming with a gimbal is also the most portable but effective shooting trick at a very low cost. One of the powerful phone gimbals that I got for filming is the Ultron Smart X series. And to bring you guys a better review of the new gimbal series, we got both the Smart X standard version and the X Pro version in our studio. Now let me tell you why we picked the Ultron Smart X series as one of the most used smartphone gimbals. First, let's take a look at the packaging of Ultron Smart X series. The boxes look pretty simple and clean. In addition to the product images, there's also a brief introduction of the gimbal's functionality on the packaging. For the Pro gimbal, we can see that it does have a few more features. We will talk about that later. Open the box, let's take out all the items. There's no difference inside the boxes. Apart from the gimbal, it also includes a tripod, charging cable, and the user manuals. At the first glance, it's obvious to find that the standard version and the Pro one shared the same appearance design. The first time I got my hands on the gimbals, they both gave me a strong impression of its excellent build quality. Visually, the gray shield made of ABS plastic looks clean and the grip feel is also good. At the same time, the material brings a light, comfortable experience leading to a weight of around 300 grams. Although it's not the lightest and the most compact gimbal on the market, I actually didn't feel tired even after gripping it for a long time. And like most phone gimbal on the market, the Smart X series is also designed in an easy foldable form, which makes it easy to carry around in the backpack. Compared to the standard Smart X, the Pro version's indicator lights are replaced with a small OLED display showing modes and battery state. And a focus control whelm is added on the side of the Pro model, while the standard version replaces it with a 1 4 inch thread, which, however, seems to be even more useful for more accessories. Apart from the difference that we mentioned, they look almost the same. The control panel is pretty simple for both. There's only a joystick followed by two buttons, a shuttle and another power button. At the side, there's the same zoom control, an interesting design that we didn't see before on other gimbal is the magnetic battery cover, which is really smart and convenient when we want to remove the battery. Yes, you heard it right, the battery is removable, which could make a battery life less of an issue with a single battery backup. Or if you don't want to buy an extra battery, the battery is also rechargeable with a USB-C port on the side. At the bottom, there's another 1 4 inch thread, basically for a tripod or extension stick. In addition to the basic four stable modes, Ultron has also developed an exclusive app for achieving more shooting functions with these two gimbals. The app's interface is quite similar to the original smartphone camera apps, but more thoughtfully, it has added video samples for the different shooting modes. Other special shooting modes like a Hitchcock zoom and a panorama photography is also available in the app. Moreover, it supports interesting filming features like beauty and a bunch of filters. video parameters, addressments, face or body tracking, as well as gesture shuttle. In my daily use, these two gimbals had almost the same performance as each other, and both of them worked pretty well in terms of stabilization functions. Due to the use of the latest generation of 3X design, they can handle most shooting moves well with a relatively good stability, and the image shot on the phone is also clear and smooth. And we tried quite a lot of brands phones with these two gimbals and nothing really confused us in terms of compatibility, which is pretty surprising. In actual filming, I must admit that I really prefer the Pro version as it supports wireless charging for the filming phone. No matter you use the gimbal or not, the biggest pain point of filming on phones actually is the phone's draining battery life instead of the gimbals. Now, it's possible to charge the phone with the Ultron Smart X Pro and it doesn't require any cable. All you need is to place the phone on the gimbal. And thanks to the removable battery design, you can even carry another battery backup to keep the power on for both an X Pro gimbal and your phone.
The Pro Gimbal has a slightly longer battery life, which could last for around 3 hours more. But even for the standard gimbal, the 7 hour battery life is enough for a whole day of filming. Since the brand's establishment, Ultron has been working on making truly useful 3X gimbals. As the latest gimbal series, the Smart X series no doubt is a good example. As mobile gimbals, they have reliable stabilization and connection with phones. Compared to the standard Smart X gimbal, the feature of wireless charging for the phone could be the only reason that you go for the Pro version. But if you are not worried about the phone's battery draining during filming, the standard Smart X could be an excellent cheaper option to boost your filming. So that's all about the Smart X gimbals. These two gimbals' performance actually exceeded my expectation. Well, how about you? If you have any questions about the gimbals, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. This is Will from Gizmo China. See you soon.